In the summer of 2014, a number of yachts have been aground in the entrance to the River Deben, and although there have been no losses so far, Fittestow Ferry Harbour Master John White and Assistant Stephen Reid have been working to reduce the risk of grounding by updating and improving navigational aids and buoyage in the estuary. So first, let's take a look at the 2014 Guidance Sketch Map. Most incoming vessels steer for the Woodbridge Haven buoy as their waymark and then steer towards the port hand West Knoll buoy, which must be left to port inbound, starboard, outbound. The channel between the port hand West Knoll and the starboard hand Mid Knoll is where most groundings happen. Vessels can easily be pushed to the west by both the flood and the ebb tide. The blue arrows show how the flood comes into the river mouth and the ebb also carries vessels down to the south and west. The shallow water is close to the west of the main passage, so it's very important to keep close to the course marked on the chart. To make it easier for skippers, there are two new navigation aids now in place. The first is an auxiliary buoy a small port hand can, midway between the west knoll and the mid knoll buoys. Making sure you leave this new buoy to port when inbound will keep you clear of the shingle bank. The second aid is a new transit line between the starboard hand mid knoll buoy and a mark ashore, a red and white pillar with a green conical top mark. Lining up these two marks from as far to seaward as possible will also keep you completely clear of danger. Seen from afloat, this is how the voyage works. You've got the uh, port hand boy there, the, uh, the west knoll boy. Obviously, keep that to, to port. Uh, we have um, an intermediate boy, an additional port hand boy, which we'll show you in a moment. Uh, we've got an unofficial transit mark on the beach, and we have a, a starboard hand boy, which we line up with the, uh, the transit mark. Uh, the mid knoll and line them up and it's a, it's a perfect course to come in. Uh, the channel is very narrow but there is a nice lot of water. We've uh, got uh, six and a half feet here at the moment and it's dead low water. Um, but you deviate off that track and um, it is shallow either side of the track. Because of the limitations of the video, it isn't as easy to see details ahead as it is with the naked eye, but this shows what you should be able to see. The mid knoll is here and the new auxiliary boy is just here. With naked eye, you may just be able to see the transit line back marker, but keeping the auxiliary boy to port confirms that you're in safe water. At some states of the tide, you'll also see this area of choppy water right across the channel. This isn't caused by shallows, however, it's an area of overfalls where the outgoing river ebb and current conflicts with the new incoming tide from the sea. off the track just to show you how shallow it gets. Um, we went to the west by about 10 metres and it went down to uh, 2 feet 9 inches. Um, we're back in the channel now and we have 7.7 7 foot 4 inches. So uh, there is a lot of water in the right place and so you just you must not deviate from the channel. Just keep the mid knoll boy uh, on the groin which is marked with a green top and a red and white pole. It's not an official transit, but uh, we, we've marked it accordingly. Using the transit line as soon as you can clearly see it means that you should be well clear of the advisory port hand buoy and safely in deep water. The shallowest part of the channel during this trip at Deadlow Water on the 17th of July 2014 showed six feet below the launch's keel while the area where the overfalls occurred was around 12 feet deep. The Felixstowe Ferry Harbour Masters always advise entering the River Deben on the flood, especially if you're new to the area. 
They also advise great caution if you're entering soon after rough weather, when these shingle banks may be flattened and dumped into the channel by the weather. Once you're past the mid knoll boy, the recommended route is to follow close along the western shore, where you should find plenty of water. So right here we've got about 12 feet. 15 feet. 15 feet. Two feet of water. How far out are we? Now it's just a steady cruise into the river, steering over to leave the Red Deben Boy to port as the sailing club comes into clear view. Once inside, the channel is between the main moorings to port and a single line of moorings to starboard. Two of these moorings, upstream of the houses on the Bordsea side, are visitors' moorings maintained by the harbour masters. The outbound passage is exactly the same routine. As soon as you can, pick up the transit line between the shore mark and the mid knoll buoy. Follow the transit as far as you can, heading out past the buoy until you can no longer see the shore marker in line with the buoy itself. By this time, you should clearly see the red auxiliary buoy to starboard, showing that you're well clear of the western shingle bank. Now head straight through the patch of small overfalls, heading for the west knoll, and you'll be safely at sea. <laughs> 